The panels that we've put on here today are the next generation, so they're the 440 watt. It's pointless having a really top heavy panel because you're not going to get there. Yeah, right. And most panels um, operate at, in the UK at about 70% of their rated efficiency. Right now I'm down south at my brother's house getting solar panels installed, but this is one thing that almost, well, it wasn't going to happen after what occurred last year because you save up don't you you put money to one side for holidays maybe car solar panels home battery system kitchen that was his plan let's get some solar panels maybe a battery in the future but then last year last july something happened which just obliterated all of that completely so july last year it gets a phone call after having a blood test from the doctors to say can you go into hospital please like right now so he did, and that kicked off a sequence of events which essentially meant that he went into hospital that day and didn't leave for over six months later. In fact, he never even left a bed for the majority of that six months. An infection in the spine and various other places, meaning you can't walk. And just to top it all off for good measure, let's give you a brain tumour as well. Now, that's operable. It's still in there, but needs to go. He's back home now, so things are getting better. He's even started to work again. But ultimately, the secondary effect of all these health issues, because that's the most important thing, isn't it? Health. But the secondary effect of all that is, well, finances. So imagine now you stop working and then it's seven, eight, maybe nine months later before you might go back. What would happen to your finances, your household, let alone your plans for the future, for solar panels, for kitchens, for holidays? If you're self-employed, there's no sick pay. Even if there is sick pay, that only lasts a certain amount of time. Obliteration of finances, let alone plans for things like solar panels. So that's what we're here today to do. It's a little bit of positivity in a year of utter, I can't swear on YouTube. Now this was all down to a chance meeting with the people that installed Harry's panel. So he picked people to install the panels. I got talking to them as you do about, well, YouTube, sports, health. And my brother came up in terms of what had happened to him. So long story short, they said, tell you what, assuming Harry's happy as a customer of ours, how about we work together? We'll install panels at your brother's at cost, and then, well, we get a sponsor out of it. I couldn't say no to that. So I have to say a massive thanks to Heatable because this genuinely wouldn't be happening at all if they weren't sponsoring the channel. And I have to say a big thanks to you because without watching this channel, it's a bit DIY SOS is this, isn't it? But without watching this channel, without subscribing and all the usual things that YouTube throw at you, well, I wouldn't have the, uh, the clout, the power to basically say, all right, then I can give you this and you can give us that. So if you're looking for solar panels, battery systems and various other things, Heatable. I'll be talking to Ben from Heatable later on because I want to find out more about these premium panels that Harry got installed on his house, which after looking at them and what they're generating, it's given me a bit of panel envy, if I'm honest. I never really bought into this premium panel, budget panel thing, but now actually, maybe I am. So, from a condensed but more technical point of view, shall we say, what makes these, um, Raya panels is it? Yeah. What makes these premium? All panels are rated in something called kilowatt peak, okay? So kilowatt peak is <coughs> a lab test where you put a thousand watts per meter squared on a panel and that's going to give it its kilowatt peak rating so a 400 watt panel what that doesn't mean if you take that outside and just hold it to the sky mm. it will produce 400 watt it can do up to 400 watt right. and most panels um operate at, in the uk at about 70 percent of their rated efficiency because of the sun yeah so the average irritants we get is about 70% of that of something like South Africa or Spain, mm. like the Pal of the Sun. What REA do that others don't is your cell structure, how efficient your cell is, is limited by how big you can make the panel. Mm. So those panels are 1760 by 1123. Just a bit bigger than standard. A bit bigger than standard. On Harry's, he's got the same footprint of panel. Yeah. His is the 420 watt version. Right. Okay. And that features something called Topcon N-type panels. So that means the cell structure is an N-type panel, which means it's a higher efficiency cell. Topcon um, is to do with its activation at low light. 
So yeah. the panels that you've got are something called perks. You've got P-type and N-type. <coughs> panels are constructed under something called global design principles. So from a Chinese or Japanese factory, um, they will produce a panel and that panel will go into Spain, South Africa, North America or the UK. And its rating and its construction is the same for every environment. What REA do is they build panels for environments. So in the UK, um, it's pointless having a really top-heavy panel because you're not going to get there. Yeah. What's important is the mid-range performance. So they do a bifacial panel with a clear intersection. The panels that we've put on here today are the next generation. So they're the 440 watt. Ooh. Yeah, same footprint. The Picard ones. Oh, yes, okay. the 100%. So, because down here we're going to get some more sun. Yeah. So, and we've got a hybrid, so we need some more power to get the hybrid to activate. So, we fitted the 440 panel, exact same footprint. So, all that's changed is the efficiency of the cell. For this area. For this area. And it's yeah. a south facing roof, which helps. Presumably. South facing roof, no shading issues. It, it's it's going to, you know, it's, it's a really, really good setup. 440 watt it also has something called hjt so the old panel was um although we still do the other panel was a, an n-type top con these are hjt which means it's got a hetero junction which <laughs> all that means is it's a three wafer panel so you've got three wafers of silicon right. in your cell top layer a middle layer and a thin film back layer what that does is in really high intense sun, you get maximum act uh, activation, maximum en energy generation, but also in low light, you can capture low light with a thin wafer. So how many layers would my panels have, for example? Generally one or two. One or two. Yes, they have something called a, um, a PM bridge. So HJT is a technology that was devised um, by Panasonic about 15 years ago. And it was so expensive, it was just uneconomical to have. No one bought them. Um, it's since come down in price, manufacturing techniques have improved mm. and um, REA buy them from Japan. So they buy their cells from Japan and then they assemble that panel and that comes to us in the UK. An N-type <coughs> panel doesn't degrade with oxygen in the air. That panel on your roof there, on this roof here rather, is a double insulated cell. It's got glass on the front, glass on the back, so it's completely isolated from the environment. So its degradation will be lower than the, my oh, panels. A lot lower. And they manage heat a load better as well. So if you, on a, on a south facing roof, when the sun comes round, you know, in summer, it, let's say it's ambient temperature of 32 degrees, sun's pumping on that roof. Mm. As cell temperatures rise, performance drops, like yeah, everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. HJT copes with higher temperatures very, very well. And also, because these are bifacial, when you've got that super intense sun, if the front face drops, the back picks it up because the light's powerful. So you don't get high temperature performance dives. Mm. And a price point, you know, you know, things have come down in solar rapidly over sort of the last three or four years. These cells now, this panel on its own, it's probably going to retail for about 115 quid. 120 quid a cheap panel is like 70 quid so it, so across mm. like an eight array system it's not it's not massive but you've got mm. all the benefits and the mm. cost of getting back up you've know, got scaffolding here today we've got electricians roofers it's kind of static really isn't yeah it? It, it, in the grand scheme of things it's nothing yeah. we've got tests with a cheap panel yeah and these panels and we get about 15 to 20 percent more something else on panels is that panels have a test tolerance Okay, hmm. so if you look at a panel data sheet, they'll usually say it's 420 watt as an example, plus or minus 4%. Yeah. It's always minus, right? The REA panels okay. with the cell technology they have, they're all positively tested. So they guarantee the minimum it was tested at was its rating. If you do want solar panels, you've got an online quote, I think. Got an online tool, yeah, um, so we, we've got an online quoting tool. And I think even people just watch the video, if they don't necessarily use Heatable, as long as they're buying... all the mindset. Yeah, then they just <laughs> learn about the, just spending a little bit more on decent quality kit. It's not thousands and thousands yeah, more. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a small margin. Mm. Um, so if you're buying from us, we'll guarantee that service and we'll guarantee that kit. But if you're buying elsewhere, just look at the quote and just take 15 minutes to do a bit of research into apples the Apples for apples. Yeah. I used 100%. to see this all the time in my, in my previous job now. Yeah one wireless system versus another and it's like whoa, whoa hang on a minute it's not, it's not this isn't close the two things i would recommend is pay your deposit on the credit card definitely if yep. you're paying one 
um, and make sure that you're using someone who's got a consumer protection agency in place because that's going to protect your deposit. Thanks for this. Yeah, no because problem. ultimately, this was all that I wanted to get out of this. Get some panels, do something good, and then I can go back to getting beer sponsorships where they go, here's more beer. Yeah. So, you know, so I can go back to selfish sponsorships in the future. Heatable.co.uk, is that right? Heatable.co.uk, yeah, you've got solar, you've got boilers, and we've got battery only launching soon as well. So if you're um, looking, you don't want solar, maybe you just want a battery only, you want to charge it up at night on a cheap rate. We're going to have online fixed prices to have that done. Um, and again, you can use 0% interest free credit on those. And it's a fixed price to have one of them installed as well. So lots of new products coming there. Uh, we have a channel as well. We do lots of advice um, and blogs. It's, a, it's not always about buying from Heatable. Obviously, that's important to us and it's great for business. But we're just trying to raise the standards and the awareness around products and just bringing people's attention. That if you're going to invest in solar, make it one investment and make the right one. Before all this happened, obviously you had lots of calculations about how much you probably would save. Yeah, uh, a year ish with solar panels. So I was I sort of calculated between six and seven hundred pounds, hopefully a year that we yeah. could save. You're using probably more electricity at the moment because you're at home more. Yeah, the hot tub. Yeah, we've got <laughs> which the hot tub is going. a medicinal <laughs> thing, <laughs> of course. Yeah, it's inside a, a little shed, so it, it it's insulated. It keeps warm. It ticks over a bit like an immersion heater. So it's on twenty four seven, and it's on twenty four seven. So the temperature stays as it is because if you drop the temperature down, it takes so long to warm it back up to where you want it to. So electricity usage is going to be quite high because I mean you've got underfloor heating as well as a gas boiler, yes. but just in here. Yeah, the electric mat. So is that going to change the usage patterns? Because yes. you think you know some days anyway you're going to have a lot of free electric effectively yeah. so it's like well actually let's not turn that on let's use that instead having that little extra bit of comfort with the underfloor heating on maybe it'd have been better through that when it was really cold in the past few months mm. um but because of the cost of the electricity during the day anyway it was it was like i oh, will leave that off we'll just put a pair of socks <laughs> on and you know you, you sort of get by because we never had it before but now we've got it not being able to afford to use it because it costs too much money mm. now we've got the solar in that then relieves that pressure and, and I can stop thinking of, can we do that? You're on the same tariff I am, yeah. Intelligent, which is six hours of cheap and yeah. 18 hours of, of, of peak rate, if you will. So at the moment, you've presumably gone from using the high, you know, like the washing machine at night, but yeah. now you're like, actually, we might be using There's it during no the day. If the need, sun's out. Yeah, no realistic need to do that now. And like I said, with the hot tub, whereas normally we'd have that on just probably in the summer months, mm. you know, um, now it alleviates that pressure that we can <laughs> Spring have. Spring and autumn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, if we wanted it on throughout the winter, um, all right, you're not going to get a massive amount of solar, no. but it would probably cover just the hot tub. And if it just covers that, then, like you say, for the medical benefits, out of, for what I get out of that using it, it's, um, it's way beyond, you know, not using it. Well, in terms of medical stuff, effectively... That's coming out at some point. Yep. It's the infection that's done the damage. The infection that I had in my spine and my hip, yeah. Well, my left leg was completely paralysed, top to bottom. And the right leg, I won't say wasted away, but didn't get used. Yeah, well, to be perfectly honest, I've, I've lost three and a half stone, or three stone, 19 kilos, somewhere around there. Um, and I would say a big portion of that is muscle mass. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> to kind of phrase, I've got the strength of a five-year-old. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the one side effect that never even it occurred to me, but never occurred to me, mm. is the financial implication of not working for seven, eight, nine months. Yeah. Very, very few people out there will have rainy day funds that can see them through something no. like that. Uh, especially if you're self-employed or anything like that, where there's no sick pay or yep. if you don't have sick, you know, yep. anything. So, so that, that's changed our backup plans or it yeah. will do once we can get to because I'm thinking this doesn't happen to yeah. us you know when you, you get put to live that, don't you yeah you get put in that position um you know it, it really makes you see where you probably wasted money and wasted time especially the there's certain aspects where you know rather than going for a, a, a cake and a cup of tea and a calf it's all right we'll just have a drink when we get in you know so you, you're saving that money whereas now <clears throat> You know, with the solar, 
having that added on, it just gives me that little bit more comfort that I know that it's not paying for everything, but it's, it's covering me. This is what I keep saying with ours. It's like, yeah, all right, I've spent all this money, yeah. theoretically, on the heat pump, on the batteries, on the solars, but that's for me an investment in the future. When electricity prices shot up, it barely affected us. If something like this happened, I mean, there's all bigger bills to worry about, but ultimately yeah, yeah. We'll be, it, it's a level of protection that I was willing yeah. to pay extra for, and it will pay for itself, yeah. so to speak, but eventually it's like, I quite like that peace of mind, that this yes. is as cheap to run as it physically could be in a household. Exactly, and that, that's what we were sort of achieve, trying to achieve, you know. and Before it got taken away. Before, yeah, before <laughs> this all happened. Right, well, I'm back home now, and yeah, we've got solar panels. All of us, in fact, <laughs> when it comes to the channel. Harry's got them now. He led us to Heatable, which got my brothers. Obviously, I've got mine. I've got, you know, Panel Envy, so thanks to Harry for ruining my install. Uh, but it does give food for thought when it comes to solar panel installations in terms of I didn't put enough research into it, clearly. And it also has changed, as I said earlier, the mindset in terms of protecting yourself, in terms of financial obliteration, if we get in the health stuff, if something does happen. I think of solar panels, home batteries, things like that, as imagine somebody's saying, I can sell you cheap electricity, I don't know, five pence per kilowatt hour, but you're going to have to buy five years worth or ten years worth in advance. Would you do that? Well, with solar panels, it's 20, 25 years. Um, so again, thanks for watching, because it wouldn't have happened if you didn't, and, well, I'll see you soon.